Hello and good evening. These are the news at five. Minister of Tourism, Arts, Culture, Youth and Sports, Dato Abdul Karim Rahman Hamza, wants to see Sarawakian who have made a name for themselves in the global arena, particularly in the field of arts, bestowed with state awards. According to him, artists and other social figures deserve to be recognised and hence state awards would be a good approach to offer recognitions for their contributions. Ini adalah pandangan saya saja bahawa mereka mereka ini patut dipertimbangkan juga uh, dan memandangkan saya dalam kementerian ini saya akan berbincang dengan uh, mereka yang akan mengusulkan nama-nama sama ada sportman, sama ada artis, sama ada dalam kebudayaan uh, untuk diangkat diberi anugerah-anugerah uh, oleh kerajaan negeri ya. karena kita tahu ramai mereka bukan saja mengharumkan nama di, di Sarawak uh, tapi mereka telah melintasi sempadan he said this after launching the mural to promote this year's Kuching Waterfront Jazz Festival to be held from September 27 to 28. He further said he would definitely give his full support to recommendations on giving state awards to recognize the contributions of world-famous Sarawakian artists. Assistant Minister of Education, Science and Technological Research Dr. Anwar Rapa'i stated that through the program organized by Ministry of International Trade and E-Commerce, the public will be more careful in receiving and giving information in email, WhatsApp and telephone calls. According to him, cybercrime is one issue on the rise and negatively impacts the community. He added, Online scams can happen to anyone from professionals to government retirees, civil servants and private sector employees, including senior citizens and students. Popular online scams are detected in Sarawak were employment scam, Macau scam, love scam and online business scam. The Sarike interchange aimed at easing traffic flow between Saratok and Cebu on the Pan Borneo Highway may be completed as soon as next year. Leboraya Borneo Utara Sendirian Berhad in a statement said the three-span 85-metre long bridge at the interchange is fast taking shape with the project team expecting to launch its beams by early next month. Its project manager for Sungai Awik Bridge to Bintango Junction Works Package No. 6, Suhaili Mat Saleh, was quoted in the statement as saying the overall length of this 675-metre interchange will include some 590-metre retaining earth wall structure to be constructed on both bridge approaches. Well, that's all for me. I'm Mano Ruben. Anytime, anywhere.